Hey Capricorn, welcome to your monthly reading for March 2021. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Um, yeah. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. I am posting more on there and some like additional content um, as well as like videos, pick a cards, that sort of thing. So if you're interested in that, make sure you give me a follow. And as well, if you are looking um, to learn how to read tarot for yourself or even for other people, I do have a free guide for you guys. So it is a keyword guide. So it's something you can kind of print out, keep with you, um, or even download it, keep it on your computer, whatever, your phone. And um, yeah, it's just a good guide to kind of help guide you a little bit more when you forget the meanings of things. So great to have when you are learning tarot on your own. Okay, so let's see where we go. What does Capricorn need to know for March 2021? <clears throat> Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? For March. We have finding and we have life purpose. So you literally could be finding your life purpose. Regardless, I feel like you're finding something that makes you feel very happy. It feels very good and it almost feels um, comfortable or like familiar. So some of you are kind of like stepping into just like a nice place. What else does Capricorn need to know for March? Capricorn for March. Capricorn need to know for March 2021 Capricorn so we have financial constraints number 13 and we have the world number 29 which breaks down to an 11 I feel like the financial constraints, honestly, like all I'm kind of getting from it is like, just save your money, just be cautious with that. Um, and some of you may have to make a big purchase, which may feel, make you feel like you're constrained a little bit financially, like you, um, because you had to make a big purchase, now you have to like save, you feel like you have no money, I feel like you do, but um, like I, don't, I don't really feel like it's anything crazy. With the world, I feel like, Again, there's something about your purpose in the world. Um, yeah, something about your purpose in the world and what you do, what you have to offer the world. And I also feel like you're seeing something from a different perspective. Um, it's like, I don't know, you're, you're, you're definitely looking at a situation, you're finding something here. We're gonna get some additional messages here um, with regards to what's going on for you guys in March. There's initials in here, there's um, houses as well as signs and some other messages. So let's see, got a lot of stuff here. We don't have too many initials actually. They could be your initials or they could be somebody else's. So we have X, these are small, so. Uh, we have P, and we have a G, I heard go. 
then we have the sign of Leo. So you could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your chart. Um, we have Aries, so same thing. We have Cancer, so you could be dealing with Cancer, have Cancer in your chart. We have Throat Chakra. We have Root Chakra. So Root is all about our stability, our security. Um, so there could be something with this financial constraints and the Root Chakra where you maybe feel a little bit unstable right now. With the Throat Chakra, there may be something you need to communicate or express. Um, with the cancer, what I'm getting is like there might be some emotions or something you need to express um, or even just like sharing something with the world, your life purpose, sharing your life purpose with the world. We have the eighth house um, of death, rebirth and transformation. So it's like Scorpio energy. We have the ninth house of expansion, foreign and risk, which is Sagittarius. So more of that, that fire energy. And then we have the fifth house, Leo, again, of self-expression, drama, and play. So you guys kind of need to, like, I feel like you guys are um, expanding. There's something new, um, again, with that throat chakra and the self-expression. There's, It's like you're showing someone or something a new version of yourself. Um, you're going through a big change here. It could be a change in what you do for work. Um, you may feel like it's a bit of a risk, but it, it is expanding you and expanding your life. We have longing here. We have air, so you could be dealing with an air sign or have air in your chart. Again, it could be communication. We have maybe. Uh, we have forgive. We have choices. So I feel like some of you are looking at your choices. We have trying and we have happiness. So you're, put, you're putting work and effort into something uh, that you're trying to achieve. We also have earth. So again, more of like your own energy. So um, again, I feel like there's something about your stability and like taking action towards something but also communicating it with the world. So let's see where we go, Capricorn. Capricorn for March, what do they need to know? What does Capricorn need to know for March? We have the Seven of Pentacles that I can't hold on to. <laughs> so Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Emperor, definitely like that fire Aries energy that's here. Three of, three of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. I like that. Uh, we have the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, um, I feel like in the past there's something new. You could have been, you could have started something new uh, relationship-wise. Whatever it is, you put a lot of time and effort and energy into it. I feel like there was something here where you're a lot, very, a lot of passion involved in this situation. Um, But you're kind of going through an interesting time in the current energy with the Three of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Cups. It's like, I don't know, there's very different energy between kind of the, the front end of this reading and the back end of this reading. Um, I feel like you're kind of going through a tough time, kind of through the main energy with the Three of Swords. Um, there's some sort of like pain that you're experiencing. Could have been with regards to this past situation, like um, something could have got in the way and it's kind of left you a little bit kind of emotionally overwhelmed, a little bit confused. But then I see in the near future moving forward in a really good direction. So 
we're gonna kind of clarify because I see, so the Seven of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands, the Emperor, so either you physically have started this new project, that's something you've been putting a lot of time and effort, something that you have a lot of passion for, that purpose, right? Um, others of you, it's a relationship. Current energy with the Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, it's like something, it was making you really happy, Again, I feel like something maybe got in the way or like some sort of something came up which created a bit of an illusion or um, chaos a little bit, but it kind of also has some pain attached to it. It's almost like a little bit of a frantic, like panicky type of an energy. And then we have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This is like moving forward in a place where, you know, you can support yourself and your and other people around you. Like it's just like total and complete abundance. Um, some of you could also be entering a relationship, like going from being single into a relationship. So maybe if this is a relationship here in the past, it's like your current energy is you just like, you're like, I don't know where this is going. You could be worried there's a third party. You could be worried this person has a lot of other options. Somebody could literally have kept their options open, but there is some sort of new, um, there's a new path. You're, you're kind of learning something. So let's see, um, I want to see what this Ace of Wands is. What is this Ace of Wands in the recent past for Capricorn? What is this Ace of Wands? Also, if this is a person, I feel like you waited on them for a while. Like, I feel like there's a little bit of a, a hesitant energy here. I've been telling every sign these cards fell out in chunks. So, um, I don't always take the massive chunk that falls out because it's just, just too many cards. Um, so we have Knight of Swords and we have Temperance. Yeah, like somebody, um, <laughs> somebody has been trying to control their passions with the Temperance and the Knight of Swords, it's like someone wants to really come in hot and heavy here, but they're kind of tempering themselves. They're trying to stay calm. Um, I feel like they're kind of like planning or plotting something here possibly as well with the Seven of Pentacles. Like they're really trying to like, they've spent a lot of energy um, or invested a lot of energy into like <laughs> containing themselves with the King of Wands here at the bottom. So you definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. What is this Emperor? Clarify the Emperor here in the recent past for Capricorn. Clarify this Emperor here, please. Four of Swords. Yeah, they're kind of keeping to themselves. I kind of feel like it's a different person. Like it's not you, it's, a, it's another person. Nine of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. This person is, um, they're not wanting to give up, but they're also, there's like an energy here where they're kind of keeping to themselves. They're just like, they're not, they kind of seem a little bit reserved and maybe they kind of held back from you a little bit. I feel like they do want to put the effort in, but they're kind of just not. What is this Three of Swords here? So the devil was in that pile, but like a million cards were as well. What is this Three of Swords? Five of Cups. Yeah, there's sadness here. There's, there's heartbreak. Um, we have the Four of Cups. So someone could have got rejected or like someone kind of just like left them so maybe you feel this way what is this seven of cups there's a lot of emotion here in this center energy like this current energy seven of cups three of swords yeah you're you're overwhelmed by this um this ending, this pain, um, this three of swords energy. We have this, the king of pentacles here at the bottom. So you're, you, I feel like it's you, like you're kind of, um, 
Yeah, you're still trying to like get over something. What is this three of cups? This person could have already been in a commitment and they just didn't tell you. Maybe you found that out. We have judgment, ten of pentacles, and two of pentacles. Yeah, this person was juggling. Um, they do want to come back around. They might want to offer you a ten of pentacles. So if they chose a different person, it's like they made the wrong decision. In Because I, I, I do feel like they had options. With the queen of cups here... Um, I feel like they do have a lot of love for you and that's why they want to come back around. I feel like they're almost like realizing their true feelings for you. I feel like this person kind of left you out in the cold a little bit here. What is this eight of wands about? Because there's some sort of communication. So this person I feel you have not had contact with for a little bit. But it's almost like think you're still trying to get over this. What is this Eight of Wands in the near future energy? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like almost like someone's been holding back communication. Like, they do want to work on things. I feel like somebody also probably wants to bring this to a more stable position. Um... Yeah, they want to work on things. What is this nine of pentacles here in the near future energy? The sun. So you're happy on your own. Like you, you have happiness within yourself. I feel like you've found your happiness, your own purpose. Um, like you're in a good spot other than this situation. We have the queen of pentacles here at the bottom. Like some of you are really focused on your own um projects your own money like um it's making you happy it's helping you um kind of get through this what is this ten of pentacles here the star the queen of swords so i feel like you know what you want like you uh also could be communicating like you want a relationship and you want this ten of pentacles but like and you're not going to settle for anything less we have the magician in the world yeah you're you're wanting something different um you're wanting some an energy here that's abundant and fresh and happy and good uh something that's more in alignment with you something that doesn't make you feel stuck and empty and not worthy and i feel like you're manifesting something new possibly even into your life um kind of down the line there could be a commitment that's coming in down the line here we have the nine of cups so again you're very happy and content on your own outside of this this connection this person may come back around in march which kind of disrupts your energy a little bit and then you kind of go back and move forward um kind of in your own direction I feel like things might kind of balance out or stable stabilize a little bit, which helps you kind of move forward. And maybe you get a little bit of closure as well, is what I kind of want to say. Um, I think you get some clarity in this situation. So you may have a conversation with this person, which kind of brings it to a more balanced place between you and them. So let's see what your advice is, Capricorn, from Spirit in the Universe. What is the advice for Capricorn in March? So we have Direction Guardian, choose your path. We have Guardian Angel, you are not alone. So Spirit is with you. Um, there is sun kind of like... Um, you guys are wanting to move forward. There's a new path. You're choosing the direction you want to move in. And I get one more card here for Capricorn in March. Advice for Capricorn. I'm just going to take the top one. 
So we have Oracle, wait for important information. So I do feel like there's a message coming in from this person that's going to help direct you in a certain way, like good or bad, ending or a new beginning, that sort of thing. We have Arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. So I feel like this is a little bit of advice um, for when this kind of energy starts to kind of hit the fan a little bit. Um, because I feel like it kind of all of a sudden takes you off course a bit in your energy. And so just protect yourself from that. Remember, you're not alone. You, you have support from the universe around you. Um, and you will receive information here that is beneficial to um, your path forward. Because I do kind of see you moving in a new direction here. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments below if it resonated with you. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if uh, you would like to see some additional content. And um, yeah, if you're looking for the free guide, tarot guide, it is in the description box uh, down below as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you all in the next video and I hope you have a wonderful March. Bye.